Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Dreamlight Valley tutorial from yours truly, Faven. Today we're going to be going over fritters, their favorite foods, and some tricks along the way, though there really aren't many. Uh, but we'll discuss some similarities, we'll discuss the food, and we'll kind of take it from there. As you can see, we're going to start off right here in the plaza with the squirrels. Each day before I leave, I pick up the following. Three of each of these. Peanuts, carrots, seaweed, blueberry, bromelian, lobster, and white sturgeon. If you don't have those to start the day out with, then of course you can grab them along the way as you're in each of the different areas. But those are the favorite foods of all the critters. So we have our first squirrel here. We are going to go ahead and hand that squirrel some peanuts. And we've gotten our feed critters for the day. Here's our second squirrel. So we're going to take care of that while we're here. And it is just as simple as walking up to them, hitting your approach button, feed them their favorite food, and then they go ahead and give you something. Before we move on to the next, the critters themselves have the option of dropping multiple different things. So we can go ahead and get these icons for changing up your clothing. As you saw from the other squirrel, we got a dream shard. And there are some other various things that different critters can go ahead and give us. Now with the rabbits, they're going to hop up and down. You walk towards them and then they give chase and you are going to follow them a total of, I want to say that was three times, and you go ahead and feed them carrot. And here we go. We got ourselves another motif. Now, I mentioned I start out the day with three of each item, and the reason for that is if you go into your main menu, you go to Collection, Critters, you can actually go to the critters themselves and hover over each of them, and you'll notice down there at the bottom, it says Schedule. So our Black Squirrel's not here today, nor is our Classic. Our Gray is here all day, our Red is here all day, and our White is not here today. But... There are times when you're going through your critters that they will say they're here for specific times. They can overlap with the critters that are there, and there will be a total of two of them a day. Standard. But I have had an instance where I've had three different foxes. I have had, I want to say three different crocodiles at one point in time. So our next critter we have is going to be the sea turtle. Sea turtles are found at Dazzle Beach and you're gonna walk up to it and it's gonna hide in its shell just like that. And it's gonna shake a little bit. They're shy. You're gonna give them time to come out of their shell. And this is feeding them seaweed, which is their favorite food. Now the trick for seaweed and fishing it up is we just go ahead and grab our fishing rod in a non-fishing hole spot. We reel in. And you can get seaweed just that easy. Sometimes you'll also get a fish. But if you're looking to really stock up on seaweed, bring your fishing buddy with you because your fish fishing buddy has the opportunity to provide you extras of whatever you catch. And if that happens to be a seaweed, they can provide you with extras. And in one fishing loop, you can go ahead and get the seaweed you need for both turtles. Our next creature is going to be the crocodiles in the Glade of Trust. Now, they're a little tricky, and I will teach you a trick with these as well as the raccoons. If you eat a food that you have cooked, and it fills your bar up, as you can see above my head, into the gold... You'll move just a little faster. It's not a lot, but it can help when you're trying to uh, woo the crocodiles and uh, raccoons onto your side. So we've already seen one. 
So now it's a matter of finding it. And once we have our crocodile, I will let you know why the golden bar trick comes in handy. Okay, so we do have a crocodile here. That was the first one we saw just a little bit ago. And they're going to run away from you, and it's got its back turned with its head up right now. You'll notice that it crouches and stands up. So, as soon as it crouches, you begin moving towards it. Now, without the little berry trick there, it took me two tries to get close enough to be able to feed them their favorite food, which is lobster. Without the berry trick, it'll take you three, if you're just close enough to get it. So today we have the red crocodile, and then I saw over here our blue crocodile friend. So I'm going to show you again. So he crouches, and we didn't make it that time. That's okay. They can be a little frustrating, but don't let that bother you too much. You just want to kind of sneak a little bit. There we go. Crouch. Oh, and we didn't get it that time either. I do this daily and I still don't always get it right. Having the extra boost on the speed also helps you keep up with them because they're fast. We've got our crouch. And even sometimes it can't take three. It just depends on how close you can get in your first go around. But we feed them a little lobster and they're little happy babies. Alright, so for raccoons, we are going to walk up to them while their back is turned. They will turn around and face you. And once they sit down, you can go ahead and walk forward. We're going to do that a couple of times here. You'll approach, and then you'll feed them their favorite food, which just so happens to be blueberries. Okay, so our next creature takes us to the Frosted Heights, and you'll see that we have foxes. They are very, very playful, and they want you to chase them just like the rabbits. So you're going to chase them just like this. I believe that was four chases. I might be a math gay, but I don't know much about counting. And their favorite food is the white sturgeon. White sturgeon can be caught right here in the frosted heights. And again, bring your fishing buddy with you because that way you have a chance of getting more than one when you do fish them up. I have primarily gotten them right out of the gold circles. I like to call these the legendary circles just because it kind of suits. And I also don't know how Maui has been everywhere that we have been today, but you know what? I'll take a friend. And there we go. We just got a white surgeon. And there we go. We have our other little friend. Now, when one gets added to your collection, as it just happened for us, you'll notice that your collection gets the red dot at the top. We go to critters, and then the black fox is now ours. So because it's new, we're going to go ahead and equip it. For Steam, or on mouse and keyboard, you can hit V as in Victor, go to companions, and then you just choose your new friend. And I have been waiting so patiently to have a fox with me, so... We're going to keep our fox while we go over to our next friend. All right, so our final friend takes us over to the Sunlit Plateau. I mentioned earlier in the video that I go ahead and I pick up everything I need to go ahead and feed them before I go out to go do so. However, with the Sunlit Plateau, you don't necessarily need to do that because as you can see, the bromeliads are they're all over the place. They're right here. So I can just go around and pick up the two that I need, or however many I'm deciding to collect in the moment right now. And that will get me what is necessary to go ahead and feed the sunbirds. 
Now you'll find the sunbirds flitting around all over the sunlit plateau, and they are pretty easy. You walk up to them, approach, you give them a bromeliad. It shows up on a little stand just like this. They jump around, and then you get your present. In the Forgotten Lands, you will find the ravens. They are just as easy as walking up to them, waiting for them to land, selecting approach, and feeding them their favorite meal, which just so happens to be ratatouille. And that is exactly how to go ahead and feed all of the available critters as it stands currently in Disney Dreamlight Valley, as well as some tips and tricks for almost each area and each kind of critter. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, definitely appreciate a like. If you enjoy the channel and the other content that's here, because we do more than just Disney Dreamlight Valley, definitely appreciate a subscribe. The likes, comments, and subscribes do go a long way in helping. So if you feel so inclined, I definitely appreciate it. But until next time, keep the magic alive at Dreamlight Valley. Much love and fairy dust to each and every one of you. I'll see you next time.